Hello, my name is Creostix, and welcome back to Soma. And uh, I'm actually a tiny bit disoriented now. What exactly was I still supposed to do here? I, I took the structure gel, and I have the cortex chip. I believe one of the uh, things I, I needed so, so far still was a battery pack, but... Is that not in the suit already? Don't don't they already have that? I'm not sure. Uh, right. And yeah, I I got a feeling that that mass is somehow breathing because reasons, and that's that that's that's just lovely. That yes. Let's go. I hope. My my next idea is just go speak to Kath in the power suit room and see if she demands that I find the battery pack. I mean, as far as I understand, the battery pack is on board already on this suit, so one would imagine that other suits would have... Okay, buddy. Uh, Ross, fr friendo. Jeez. Since I haven't been here yet, yet let's just open this one too. I, I suppose. Just. I don't want to miss lore. Is the point. And. Uh, okay. Might be interesting. Ross and the Wow. I I like the title already. Paula Lansky, twenty one oh four. Uh, 3rd of January, I think. Confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Ross recharging. 15th of January, so just under two weeks from, from that. WoW is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. It's the most insane thing I have ever encountered. Somehow the WoW, primarily relegated to the structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation which seems to be instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. So the WoW was trying to... Resurrect Ross. Which it would seem to me that at least in some form it kind of succeeded. How is he teleporting around and is all... I, that that kind of puzzles me. I, I don't quite get that, but... That's puzzling. I'm trying to think of like the... Right. 
So what I'm wondering here, if, yeah, what I'm wondering here is, I'm kind of curious on whether or not, um, like, what's the date on that play, on that, on that p tape? Because I think Ross is trying to tell me something to go into the abyss would suggest to me that, like, the words trying to tell me something suggests to me that it's decently recent, as in after the, the comet and the apocalypse and all that stuff. Because trying to tell me something suggests that Ross wasn't normal, as in resurrected by the WoW or something of that nature. You know? Because if it would be just Ross normally, he would just say, well, Ross is telling me to, you know, if a person tells me to do something, not trying to tell me something. So that's... If that's the case, then why is Dahl being all secretive? I mean, think about it. Clearly Dahl knows something about Alpha, which... I believe I'm supposed to take the, the the gel to Alpha. I think one of the the clipboards told me as much, but um, I I believe the uh, yeah. So Dahl knows something about that, which is Julia Dahl, I think. Um, why would she not tell? The world is dead. Like, what repercussions is there if she would say something that's quote unquote classified or whatever? There's no governments or corporations or whatever to reprimand her for doing so it was kind of that, that that strikes me as a little odd like why would she not then you know tell that's weird hmm beyond that we seem to have just these normal well lab rats and centrifuges and that sort of stuff but not nothing really uh concrete or stuff that that we can really uh um, read too much into, and these appear to be the WoW monsters, because of course we have WoW monsters. Yay! Great! Awesome! And yeah, these are just fishies, and this puzzles me more than, than more things, because, okay, so we've established already that, that the concept of the WoW is to preserve humanity in a really twisted way, it seems, then. Like, you know, it, it's been reanimating uh, corpses, apparently, in, in, the, in the case of Ross, for sure. And it's created the weird uh, machines that think they're human, but also the crazy machines that are more zombies than human, or something of that ilk. And then just all kinds of different forms of quote-unquote life, and whatever that means. Why the fishes? Why does how does the fishes in any way r reflect to keeping humans alive? That's the one thing I don't understand because I believe the protocol is to keep humans alive, not everything. And the these fishes and squids and that sort of stuff, especially if they're apparently happening in the wild outside, why? How does that help keep humanity alive. I mean, the first thought is, like, maybe it's just creating extensions of itself to do stuff that it wants to, but I haven't seen any, um, I, I haven't seen any, like, evidence of these wow animals or wow creatures helping humanity or preserving humanity or doing anything to keep humanity alive, so what is up with that is is very, very strange. I'm not sure what to really think of that. With that said, though, uh... Okay. That's great. You're not supposed to be here, buddy. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? I hope. Yeah. 
Let's get to work. Yay, let's work. It's gonna be great. That was one of the things that I encountered in, in a previous video. I, it, I, I recognized the voice and the everything. She, you know, the moment you think you're, you know what to do and you're safe. And oh, hi, monster. Well, yeah. Uh, we need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just stuff all of it into the suit with the dead body. Uh, right. Suit with the dead body. Yay, my new eyes and uh, brain and everything. Ow. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Okay, I actually had the battery. I, I, I just forgot. Oh well. And this is... And apparently this pint is also some sort of a venom or a virus or a something of an, or, 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 or another in the form, form of, of structure gel that involves the WoW or killing the WoW or destroying the WoW or something. That's what Ross kept telling me like 40 times in the... Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. I've... Sure thing. Whatever you say, it's gonna go great, I'm sure. Uh, pod, remind me, D, or, right, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yay? I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Okay. Um, but d I, 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 again, before I do this, as I mentioned before, Catherine said, transfer your mind into this body, but we didn't take my cortex chip from the, my head and put it there. That, that's a new one. And transferring is not how this so far has ever worked, unless you take the actual chip you're on and put it somewhere, like, like we did with Catherine. That's the one case you can do it like that. So, Catherine says, transfer. I think we're copying me again. The same way we did it, that was done from then to here, from, from t Toronto in 2015 to here. I'm not, I'm not sure Simon un understands this, and I think Catherine is kind of misleading me here. I mean, to, an, to a noble end, maybe, with the Ark and all that, I'm sure, but, but, but she never said copy, and I think it's going to be copied, which, yeah. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway. Me through. too. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Oh. This reminds me of a minigame in, I think, Assassin's Creed 4 or something that had had one of these. Okay, so so I'm moving the, the more... Uh, that's close. Uh, again, close, but no cigar. So that's roughly the height. Beyond that, I'm kind of... That's real close. Ah, come on. So close. Mm. Mm. Enough? Damn it. Man. It's annoyingly close this, but it's not quite. And this goes further away from it, which is rather confusing. Okay, so... Okay, just one at a time. Here. One, five, and seven. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. And... Already? I, I'm just saying, I, I, I think it's Don't gonna... Kath? 
don't rush me. I'm, I'll do it my own pace. But yeah, I think that's. Let's sit on some needles to make it more uh, comfortable. They, yeah. Stop messing around. Sit down in the pilot seat. Sh shush. Messing around is what I do. Yes. Yeah, sit, sit, on, sit on some some Sorry, needles. Ah. I I make. Haha, uh -huh. but I make my own discomfort. I have needles that I yes. Ha huh. yeah. Yay. But again, did we? What was that? No, I it just. Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What I do. Mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. I called it. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. Um... What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in his fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Okay. Well. Okay. I feel pretty good about this. Not because I just... Like, it's fun to guess right. But that means I have a, I have at least some sort of a grasp on what we're doing here. Which is, in a world this confusing, that feels kind of nice. But, okay. So... Now we've entered into a pretty interesting uh, dilemma here. I'm, 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 I'm looking for the. Is 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 it here to to drain battery? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we need to think. Because so far I've been uh, um, against making the choice for other people of euthanasia because it's. It strikes me as arrogant to think that I would know for other people something that I can't ask from them. But now is a different case. Now it's about, technically speaking, me. I mean, sure, it's about Simon, not me, Creostix, but me as playing as Simon. It's it's as much me as it'll ever be, you know. It's If I'm immersing myself in, into the role of what is Simon, then I'm making a choice, quote-unquote, for myself here. And that's... I love the questions this game asks. It's brutal, it's morbid, it's dark, it's... It's, I know, I know, that's, I mean, disturbing. But it's, it's, it's fascinating, it's interesting as well. It's, it's like, this is the kind of question that I would have never thought a game would ask of me. Or anything would ask of me. Okay, okay, so, let's just work through here. I don't know how long... Uh... An artificial life form like that will live on uh, on its own before it, you know, goes of old age. Let let's say um, um, d decades, maybe. I'm I'm gonna assume probably not more than a hundred or two hundred years. I would have to see maybe decades at most, or 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 years. Let's suppose a, a rough estimate of one full human life at most is probably at least in the ballpark. Double that at the very most. I just got a feeling about that. Uh, point is, not forever. Okay? Obviously not. Uh, eventually the battery will run out and that's then that. Maybe he'll be able to get more energy from uh, somewhere else. Would he know how to do that? Not sure. But the, the real question is, do I feel like that this spot is a life worth living when if he wakes up in here? So, okay. He won't have a Catherine here. 
because Catherine will go with me in here. He also won't have an Omni tool, I think, unless he can. I think that's broken. I I'm I I don't think he can assemble one there. I doubt that. I I don't think that it it has all the required things, especially not the chip to make it work, which I had to go from go get from from the uh, workbench in the place. I don't see one here. The fact that I don't see one here suggests to me that it's not going to happen. And I think that might be a one that they broke when they got here, even. Hmm. So... That door is locked. And... I, I, I don't think that the... Uh, other Simon will ever be, 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 be able to open this locked door. I don't see like considering my own options of 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 uh, interacting with everything. I don't think that that can happen. What about that door requires the Omni tool, and without the Om Omni tool, both the both exits are sealed and he can't get out. That is a bit of a bummer. A full, like, you know, a, a life to the end of his, his existence in this room. Hmm. With nothing really more to do than read, like, one or two, like, terminals with not much in, in, in them, I don't think. There's not even books or anything in here. <laughs> that is, yeah. Hmm. That's a bit of a bummer, I find. Okay, yeah. If the doors would would open, and yeah, if the if the if the doors would open, then I would have a different outlook on this. If he could get out through the doors through means of, and I and I have to assume that, assume that he can't, you know claw his way through the the floors or such and so because I can't do it either in the context of this game. I have to think of this in the context of this world of what I can do, not like, you know, what potentially could be done in the real world or, you know, in our world in in real life. So, yeah. If you ask me the question, do I want to live a full life in in uh, in this one room forever until I die of old age, essentially, because the, the battery will run out. I, I don't think I'd want to, to wake up to that. I don't think I want to, and I don't think Simon would want either. I, I know, making a choice for someone else, but everything that Simon has so far said suggests to me that he wouldn't want that either. That doesn't sound like what he would... That, that, that doesn't sound like what he'd like at all. And, the, and he's the one who asked for the option to be able to kill himself in this s s scenario as well. But again, making the choice for myself here, I... There's no way out of this room, this one hallway here. So with that knowledge, that's... Yeah. So... I would say sorry, but I feel like I've made essentially myself a favor here. It's... I think it's more humane this way. It's sad, and it's really... It's kind of putting chills to my body here, but I... It's not an easy choice. But the key difference is... The absolute requirement for an om Omni tool to, to get out into the ocean and a locked door that he can never open. And no one to, to talk to when he's here. He he'll, he he would have probably like figured out what happened pretty quickly. Like, oh, oh I was copied. That's... Mm. But beyond that, yeah. That's pretty... That is... Kinda, yeah. I'm wondering if I can maybe just 
do 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 that's there you go. That's better. Yes, let's just turn it right. There you go. Now now that is that is for it's it, I I can't close his eyes, but that's the next best thing. Yes, let's now let's roll. We need some levity in this game. I have to try, man. <laughs> it's so dark. Well, let's go outside then and have a nice little, uh, yeah. And I, I still feel uneasy about all the water always filling up. It's just, it's just, it, it goes against my instincts, you know. Uh, op open door. Yeah, good. There we go. Again. If that door would have been opened by other means, I would... Uh, and I can't assume that he's able to, you know, hack doors. He's from 2015. He, like, hack doors 100 years to the future. I, I don't see that happening. The fact that he was able to, able to make an om Omni-Tool was genuinely just um, just blind luck even on that. Uh, which one is the climber I need to go to? I'm kind of confused. I can walk pretty quickly quickly for a for a heavy power suit that's kind of fun is it this one uh um but i don't think so hmm well I, I wonder why there's two of these ways to go that's kind of weird but let's nonetheless do ooh fishies yay Good. Lovely sounds, yes. Uh, right. And here we go. Just... And here we are. However... Oh! One of you things. R robot whatevers. But I actually have to call the episode here. I This is a bit of a short, shorter one, but I actually got a run. But that one choice was so interesting that I'm 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 glad that I got to got to experience that. Also kind of well, shocked that I had to just figure out what I want to do in that situation. But yeah, jeez. But I do hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, Please do drop a like or a comment or even subscribe or share if you want to. It would really, really help. And again, if you have ideas on what I should have done on that, you know, essentially euthanasia scenario, do tell me. Like, if you agree or disagree or is there, is there a right choice, really? I'm not sure. But, yeah. Jeez. Wow. But I thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again next time.